Pain Speaking the Threshold is a three-year interdisciplinary project based at UCL, which is exploring the value of visual images and image-making processes in the diagnosis and the management of chronic pain. And it brings together a multidisciplinary team to analyse material generated during the face-to-face -face project. Face-to-face -to -face was a collaboration between myself as an artist and Professor Joanna Zakshevska as a facial pain specialist, trying to explore whether the co-creation of photographs with pain patients can help them communicate their experience to their treating clinicians. Pain is notoriously difficult to communicate. There are many reasons for this. One is its unshareability because of a resistance to verbal language, according to Scary. It's invisible, so those witnessing it have a very different experience from those experiencing it. And it's subjective, and yet the measures we often use to assess it are objective, like rate your pain on a scale of 1 to 10. How can you put pain equals evil into a number? You know, what would it tell you if you could? For facial pain patients, they have all of these difficulties, plus those um, associated with the face, specifically the fact that the canvas most of us use to express our pain is itself in pain, and therefore others find it difficult to read, um, which skews the communication process. It's also linked to social functioning, like eating, drinking, going out for a coffee, most of us would do easily. For people with pain, it's a real challenge. Kissing, like the lovers in the background there, or a light kiss on the cheek, might spark off an episode. Having a cold drink with ice in it can feel like there are scalpels within that, or eating a piece of really fresh fruit. So what we hoped we could do is to explore this and whether images had a value in communicating and raising awareness of these through a number of routes. One of these was workshops for clinicians and patients to attend together. So they were involved in collaborative drawing, uh, photographing, and also using portraits in the collection at the gallery to trigger a different type of dialogue. Another part of it was creating an artist's film um, where I looked at the intersects and the disconnects between patient and clinician perspective and maybe explored the role of narrative in the experience of pain and its prolongation. But probably the most important part of this was actually co-creating the images with patients over a long period of time. And it was important they were co-created so that I didn't actually reappropriate their experience of pain, but it reflected their unique experience. The other part of this was that I actually worked with people in this project before their treatment, during their treatment, and after their treatment. So you get a sort of arc of the changes people have made in their perceptions of their pain. Um, and it also gave us images of different intensities. The previous one was um, before surgery, and this image is after surgery. We are still using the strawberry icon, but now it's encased um, in its own casing, separated from the sufferer and they're able to actually release it and throw it away. I think it's important to remember that not everyone went from high pain to low pain. For some people, the images reflected sort of spiralling round the experience of pain. For this particular person, she talked about her pain as a shadow sandwich, which is a really difficult um, image or metaphor to actually realise but she brought this wonderful bread with her um, that she'd propagated in her room that, was, that almost looked like a landscape. And you can get the sense of sort of decomposing, pain as a process, maybe a sense of lack of self-worth. And this was the realisation of the shadow sandwich. But I think it also suggests that um, there are different readings and symbolisms can come from the shadow. So the polysemy of the photograph makes it perhaps a useful medium for this type of project. From these images, we selected a group of them and from a previous musculoskeletal project to create a pack of pain cards. These pain cards have been trialled with 10 clinicians from UCH, ranging from surgery to homeopathy, in their clin clinics. What happened is the patients were given a pack of these cards before they went into their consultation. They looked through them and picked out any that resonated for them, took them into their consultation to see if having the images to talk from as a trigger changed the type of conversation. Now we're in the lucky position of having an absolutely wonderful multidisciplinary team, including my previous supervisors, Dr. Sharon Morris and Professor Joanna Zakshevska, along with a psychologist, a historian, a linguist, and numerous other people, to try and analyse this material for us and with us. And what we're beginning to see from the preliminary findings is that the images do seem to elicit discussion of emotional elements and impacts of pain. They seem to enrich the language of both clinicians and patients and improve um, rapport. And so what we're hoping is that this analysis can actually um, 
validate this as a tool to the medical profession. Our hypothesis is that a photographic image of pain between patient and clinician can improve the quality of communication and hopefully funding permitting will be able to launch it as a tool for use right across the NHS.